All right, guys, this is my ultimate man cave. It's a 35 by 50 metal building with a divider wall down the center. There's a 25 by 35 shop on one side and a 25 by 35 bar on the other. Over here, you probably can't see it because it's dark, but we have a fire pit area. We have a big metal fire pit with six chairs around it. We'll get some bonfires going during the fall and winter time. Over here we have some games. We have cornhole and washers set up. When we have big parties, we'll set these up and let people play out here. Myself and my dad built this porch and all the finish work inside the bar area. Uh, we tried to make it look like an old building that had been here 50 plus years and that had been added to over the years. We got all this old siding off some portable buildings that used to be here that we had to tear down to make room for the building. We made all the porch posts off of uh, cedar trees that we had to cut down here on the property. We have some seating here. We have our retro boom box. Uh, we Bluetooth this to our jukebox inside so anyone sitting outside around the fire or on the porch here can listen to the same music playing inside on the uh, jukebox. We got our historical marker if y'all want to pause the video and read that. And this is our bar, Murphy's Tavern. So this all started about 20 years ago when a former family member of mine gave me this pool table. Uh, my dad and I had to build a big addition onto the back of my parents' house to make room for it. Not long after that, another family member gave me this pool table lot and uh, the Pepsi machine over there. And after that, it just kind of blew up. I started collecting neon signs and every other kind of sign you can think of. The Pepsi machine over here is a 1975 ventilator bottle machine. It'll hold 140 bottles. It's been working perfectly ever since I got it 20 years ago, and it holds long neck bottles perfectly. We'll go back over here and kind of go around the room. We didn't really have a theme for this place. We just kind of wanted it to look like an old rundown hole in the wall bar on a back road somewhere in the middle of Texas. So that's kind of what we were going for. Most of the signs I've collected, I try to get signs from different beers that I personally like, but we kind of collect a little bit of everything. So we got a shuffleboard table here. Down here we have a, a few fun things. This is a mullet wig and a luchador mask. People come party and put those on and have a good time. This is our lounge area. I got the, this couch and left seat off, uh, well actually it was from a, a garage sale for like 30 bucks, so. Got a couple of Rangers jerseys, of course, we're here in Texas, so. Got the old console TV from an estate sale for 20 bucks. Um, we have all, all the uh, retro mini consoles. I got Mario hooked up there now. Candy machine, popcorn machine. Right here, one of me and my wife's favorite things to do is go to different breweries. We've been to over 30 breweries in seven different states. Every brewery we go to, we try to get a glass and coasters, stickers, you know, whatever else they have there. So we have a pretty, pretty big collection of that kind of stuff. More glasses up there. This is our back bar here. We have a sink. Margaritaville machine. Plenty of different liquors here for whatever people want to drink. We got our kegerator here. One of our next upgrades here is to put a triple tap on there um, and start put, putting uh, homebrew kegs in there.
We got a table here. We have our old jukebox. We figured out how to make that Bluetooth so it's come in a lot more handy. We got our sticker door here. We collect stickers to any kind of brewery, you know, cool bars, restaurants, cities we go to. It's not quite full yet, but once it gets there, then we'll start putting them on the other door over here. So another thing, we have our bottle collection. I started collecting beer bottles um, about 20 years ago. Some of the bottles up there date back to the late 90s, early 2000s. When we started building this, we just kind of expanded on that. We have our Irish flag with the Murphy coat of arms up there. Up here, we have our Texas flag. A couple of jerseys from a softball and flag football team I used to run. We also collect koozies. We have koozies all along here from different bars, breweries, restaurants, and cool cities that we've been to over the years. So this is our bar, Murphy's Tavern. We have always have a good time here. We've had several holiday, holiday parties, birthday parties, graduation parties, uh, bachelor parties. We had a wedding reception here not too long ago. So now we'll go into the shop here. This is my shop. As you can see, when you walk in, we have our beer pong table. When we have parties here, we'll set the beer pong table up in here and people can hang out. We'll have the doors open where people can go in and out playing cornhole and washers, beer pong. Have my 1950 Ford 8 in tractor. If you don't know anything about tractors, uh, that's the best tractor that was ever designed, built, and sold. Over bikes on the wall, just different stuff, toys, tools, and recreational equipment. The big thing here is our home brewing setup. We started brewing our own beer about two and a half years ago. Um, we actually have an IPA that's fermenting in here right now. Seventy point three degrees. We have some kegs down here. So, like I said, our next big upgrade is putting a triple tap on the kegerator in the bar, so we can start serving our own homemade beer. Ping pong table that goes on top of the pool table inside if we want to play that. So, all right, guys, that is my man cave, the shop, and Murphy's Tavern. If y'all are ever down here in East Texas, look me up and y'all are more than welcome to come hang out. Y'all have a good night.